my name is Carrie Locke. I've been doing caricatures in uh, the Charlotte area for the past 10 years off and on now. It all got started when I was out of college and looking for a way to get paid for drawing because that is the dream. I started back at Carowinds way back, way back in the day and uh, with Commons Art Shops. I didn't know anything about caricatures or how to do it. I just, again, wanted to get paid for making art and I thought, those people down there are doing it, I'm gonna go try. So I went and I said, give me a job. And they did and I was terrible at first. I was really bad, <laughs> I thought. <laughs> I know you're always your own worst critic, but um, went through the training and you know, you're just kind of thrown to the wolves there. You're working through the crowds and, and doing, your, doing your work and your sketches. And over time it got better, I got more comfortable with it. After about a season and a half at Carowinds, um, life moved on and I got a, a day job doing something else and, you know, things are busy but the occasional gig would still come along and I realized how much I enjoyed doing it on my own without working for a company so I happily accepted any gigs that came along. I didn't, I didn't push and seek them out too much because again I was really busy and wound up having a family so that keeps me extremely busy um, but caricature is an art form that I have always loved you know once I first got into it I love you know I love the camaraderie of the other artists I love drawing cartoons that's always been in my heart um, drawing period has always been a part of my life so that was an easy leap for me to get into caricature and uh, it's a way for me to stay connected my life doesn't afford me lots of time to work um, I've got a little studio at home, but it more than often is just a place to collect dust and, and odd sketchbooks and whatnot. So doing gigs is, is where I draw. It's where I get to just set everything else aside and have some time to, to interact with people and work on drawing and, and work on my craft. Some of my influences artistically, especially for caricature, are um, of course, Al Hirschfeld was someone that made a big impression on me when I first learned about his artwork and looked at it because I thought if someone can distill a likeness down to just a couple of lines, I just felt like that was the epitome of, of capturing someone on paper and um, always would love to strive to do that. You know, the more stylized and suggestive you can get, um, but still capturing someone, I just think is kind of the epitome of the craft. Um, I've seen some absolutely phenomenal artists through through ISCA, through the Character Network, and um, it's it, it'll blow you away, the people you'll see there, and so there is no shortage of people to be inspired by. Some of my absolute favorite gigs are the ones where there's multiple artists, because aside from just having someone in the trenches with you, um, you know, as you're, you're working through the gig, uh, it's, it's just so neat to get to turn your head and see how this guy's doing his style or see how that girl's handling that weird hairdo on her person that she's got to draw. So it's, I, I think I get a lot from those gigs. I absolutely love getting to watch other artists in action. Um, it does a lot. I, I feel much more comfortable when I'm surrounded by other artists. You know, when you've got a line out the door and you're, you're just thinking I got to draw all these people and it's, it's exciting but it's challenging. It's a little terrifying the way that you're put on the spot, but I think that's part of what I like about it. It's, it's very real, it's very, there's no hiding in it. You know, you've got to do it and you've got one shot pretty much. Um, so it's exciting. Um, I've been fortunate to do a lot of different things artistically uh, for a living at different points in my life. I, um, I did murals for a while and faux finishes and, and I do love painting big. Uh, that's a very different medium and, and style and has different demands and it's a lot of fun. And I did portraits for a while, which was kind of a leap into caricatures. So that was great foundation, but I definitely prefer the cartoony way of doing things at heart. That's definitely what I would prefer to be doing.